Our match today comes to you from Loftus Road in the western part of London. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position, and we're ready to bring you live coverage of this League One fixture. It's Queen's Park Rangers, and they face Forest Green Rovers. Thank you, Derek. I was just flicking through my notes at this one. Everything points into a really lively matchup. This is fingers crossed, eh? Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, four goals in his last three games. He's in superb form. He's going to be really hard to stop. The defenders need to be on their game. The starting lineup then for Queen's Park Rangers. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Thank you. Enjoy today's game. And so the Forest Green. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. In full control of the ball here. Crossing possibilities. Just wanted to get it out of there. Dawson. James. Adams. Akiemi. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Can they get in behind them? Well, they did have possession of the ball, but all that good work now counts for nothing. Well, as we look at the table, it's clear to see why there's been so much annoyance amongst the Queen's Park Rangers fans. To say that they flatter to deceive Lee would be an understatement. Well, the start of the season, most pundits, commentators, myself included, thought they'd be competing for the title. Still a way to go, but they're pretty off the pace, they really are. They need to recover and recover quickly. Form's gone out the window, confidence shot to pieces. Corner kick played in. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Adams untidy in possession that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances whatever it takes to keep them out extremely sloppy in possession Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Real danger. It's opening up for them. Now the must score! Now that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. games here's Alan McAnally to tell us more it's a goal for Shrewsbury Town 
17 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. James. Akiyeme. Can no share it, that's no share it. Please make yourself known to the nearest two. Thank you. Adams. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Are they going to forge ahead? Oh, it's off the post! And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, it was a decent effort. I thought it was in, to be honest with you, but not to be. Maybe next time. Dawson. Can he put it away? And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. It's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. <laughs> the opening goal of the game then. Goal for the visitors, number 18, Kevin Dawson. They've given it away. Oh, a nice looking pass. Getting forward. Firing it towards goal. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Textbook defending inside the box. He's played it out over the touchline. So a throw in to restart things. James quick thinking to dispossess his opponent Schoen giving the ball to the opposition that time and options in the centre I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who's it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for Southend United. 37 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Read it superbly to take back possession. Grant. Oh, a lovely ball just drifted into the illegal position offside in the opinion of the officials Pew oh nice ball Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Grant. And it's with Kevin Dawson. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Grant. And he's broken free. He read the situation defensively and did his job. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three. Bright Osai Samuel.
It's with Wallace, Leisner, Owens, Josh Schoen. And space for the cross. Can he take advantage? Well, the header, but a comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Yeah, he has to do better than that. I could have saved that, Derek. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Real danger. It's opening up for them. And the pass must score! Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Dawson. Can he put it away? And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden one team ahead. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. James. And that is how to thwart them. Owens. Pugh. Eberechi Ezzi on the ball. And the emphasis is on creativity. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Maneuvering his way forward. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. And it's with Smith. Ezzi. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Colchester United. Please. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Well, we're sorry for interrupting you there, Alan. And to recap for you, a goal in that match for the away side. And they're in front at the moment by two goals to one. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Wallace. Owens. Could be a chance to break here. And threading it forward. And it all counts for naught. Showing teamwork and commitment. Leisner. Running with the ball confidently. Well, they couldn't do anything with that particular cross. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Shrewsbury Town. 61 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, they were clearly on the receiving end, so a free kick is next. That could well be his final warning. He's got to tread carefully from here on in. Well, he has, yeah, but it's quite easy for the referees to throw yellow cards around willy-nilly, but not on this occasion. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Adams. And it's with Kevin Dawson. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Oh, nice 
ball over the top to chase. Crossing possibilities. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. A complete miscue by the goalkeeper. Will there be a price to pay? I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. Both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time. Akiyeme. James. It's with Adrian. Into the advanced position. Adrian. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Can they hit on the break? All hands on deck. It needs an accurate cross. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Well, one thing he does know how to do is shield the ball. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Burton Albion. 73 minutes played, 3-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. James. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. 15 minutes remaining. Possession lost, intercepted. He has plenty of support. Chair. It's the high pressure, high intensity approach. Well, the atmosphere is electric. The crowd are really trying to urge the players on. Use that energy as a player. Adams. Blessing. It's with Adrian. It might be on for them. Can he take the chance? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And a substitution in the offing. Corner kick played over. Not really the ideal clearance. And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Oxford United. Seven minutes from in. 2-2. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. And a no-nonsense clearance. Lost possession, and it's a case of just five minutes left. Grant. Well, great read there to intercept. Well, there's a saying in football, Derek, that you always get one more chance. They need that chance right now. The fans feel it might be coming too. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. And a half-baked clearance. Grant. It's with Adrian. The, referee has the electronic board. And now passing it through. And it's with Smith. Kane. And that's an important intervention. And there goes the final whistle.
Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal. Real danger. It's opening up for them. And well, the pass must score! Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Dawson. Can he put it away? And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. intervention just then and made impending danger.